Hey guys, Waggish American here today with a very, very special build because like the F4F review you've seen, my channel's finally made it. Uh, Airfix was good enough, well Hornby US, but Airfix was good enough to get in contact with me, uh, sent me a couple kits to review. I only had time this summer to get one of them, to do one of them, so I think I'm going to do this one. Of course it's possible that between now and finishing it, I'm going, I'll have changed my mind and done the Meteor. They sent me a Gloucester Meteor as well. I think I talked about that in the, F, in the F6F review, or unboxing. But they sent me this kit to build, and so let's build it. Very interestingly, structural ribs are attached to the cockpit floor. These make proper alignment of the wings almost impossible to screw up. After painting the cockpit with, with XF-22, I painted the shell casing bag with oils to better replicate canvas.
shaping was done with the silver Prismacolor pencil. This was the only troubling bit of alignment of, on the kit. One of these struts seemed to be ever so slightly shorter than the other, so on my model I ended up with one tail plane, like a degree, maybe, that even that might be a little, hot, uh, a little steep, but like a degree off, and it is noticeable and it kind of drives me nuts, but that might just be down to me sanding incorrectly or something, that's how small it is.
Decals are attached with Microset and Solvaset on top of a Tamiya Gloss layer. Flory Model's Dark Earth wash was used for the wash on this model. This is a clay based wash and is removed with a damp paper towel. Panel line chipping was done again with Prismacolor pencil. Leading edges and the forward parts of the struts, etc., was done with Vallejo silver and a sponge. Yeah. 
Hey guys, Waggish American here, and the video is done. Here's the completed model. You already saw the pictures of it. Um, again, big thanks to Airfix for sending this my way to build. Now for my general review, I like this kit. It was fun. It was pretty simple for how well it turns out. It didn't have um, any real spots where I had needed to use putty. I think there was a couple small things that needed sanding on the cowling, but nothing major. I only had one problem. It, now some parts of this kit are exceptional, like I really love the way the flaps and ailerons are set up. It's extremely simple, it's literally impossible to get wrong. The default posable elevators is a nice touch too. Now, the only thing, the only problem I really had anywhere on this kit was in the, um, the wing light. Now you saw in the video, I think I showed it. I didn't I wasn't reading the instruction book unfortunately so I did not install the little thing that goes inside but I filled it with putty and that, that wasn't the problem that was my own fault the problem was when I went to go put in the lens like 10 minutes ago when I was finishing this thing up the lens is probably an eighth of an inch or maybe a th maybe a sixteenth of an inch too wide for the actual hole in the wing and while trimming it down I snapped it so as you can see, I don't have it in. I don't have the uh, the lens in, which is really unfortunate. Now, how you fix this? You can do it with thin acetate sheet, which is probably the best way. Or if you're in a real pinch, you can use clear tape. Just wrap it around, cut it. It'll look. It'll sag a little bit. It won't be perfectly in line with the airfoil, but that's how you would fix it. I don't have time to fix it. I don't even have. I was going to do a fall update video, but I don't even have time to do that. It is uh, 11 o'clock right now. I am moving 10 hours away to an apartment thing in about three hours. So th this will be edited at my new, my new residence and I will post it from there. But uh, yeah, really good kit, really fun to do. Any questions about paints or anything, just post it in the comments, I'll respond to it. Um, and yeah. I'll see you guys next time.